In this video, let's talk about Zhang Kweili. This is a Chinese mixed martial artist. She was born on August 13, 1989, in Handen, Hebei, China. Her father retired as a miner, while her mother was a housewife. Zhang has an older brother who made a significant career shift, leaving his job as a gold trader to support her MMA career. He now works at the gym where she trains. Zhang's journey in martial arts began at the tender age of six, when she started learning Shaolin Kung Fu from a local master, inspired by her love for Kung Fu films. During her primary school years, she dabbled in various sports including athletics, football and table tennis. At the age of 12, she enrolled in a specialized martial arts school in Handan, where she commenced her training in Sanda and a Chinese wrestling style known as Shuai Jiao. Her success in Sanda competitions at the Hebei province level led her to her selection for the Jiangsu province Sanda team. Unfortunately, a recurring back injury sustained during training cut her Sanda career short. At 17, Zhang moved to Beijing and uh, took on various odd jobs such as working as a cashier at the supermarket, a kindergarten teacher, a security guard and a hotel desk clerk. In 2010, she secured a job as a fitness instructor at a local gym in Beijing where she gained access to the gym's equipment after closing hours. During this time, she became interested in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu after observing other grappling at the gym. Eventually, she transitioned to a front desk position, which allowed her to interact with fighters training at the gym, including her idol Wu Haoxian, a pioneering figure in Chinese MMA. After forming a connection with Hao Xian in 2012, she was introduced to the Black Tiger Fight Club. It was there that coach Kai Sui Jun recognized her immense potential and began training her in MMA. In December 2019, appearance on a Chinese television show, Jiang revealed that her inspiration to pursue MMA came from Hong Kong action superstar Donnie Yen. She cited Donnie Yen's 2007 film Flashpoint as her introduction to the world of MMA. Additionally, she credited Ronda Rousey, particularly her historic fight against Liz Carmucci in 2013, for giving her the motivation to leave her job and fully commit to a career in MMA. As of August 29, 2022, John Quayle holds the prestigious position of being ranked number one in the UFC women's pound-for-pound uh, pound rankings. Her journey from a young enthusiast of martial arts to a two-time UFC women's throwaway champion is a testament to her dedication and a relentless pursuit of excellence in the world of mixed martial arts. Now let's talk about a training a routine of this MMA fighter. A striking, uh, striking, especially hand striking training, is a fundamental component of MMA, combat sport that incorporates various fighting techniques from disciplines like boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and traditional martial arts. Developing effective hand striking skills is a crucial for MMA fighters, as it allows them to score points, defend themselves and potentially finish a fight via knockout or technical knockout. A boxing serves as the foundation for hand striking in MMA. Fighters learn the basics of stance, footwork and head movement from boxing to enhance their abilities to strike and avoid punches. They practice jab, cross, hook and uppercut punches and work on their boxing defense techniques. Muay Thai MMA fighters often incorporate elements from Muay Thai and kickboxing to expand their striking arsenal. These arts introduce techniques such as leg kicks, body kicks, elbows and knees, providing fighters with a different range of striking options. Fighters uh, 
uh, train these coaches or training partners who hold focus uh, meets or tie pads. This training helps improve accuracy, timing and power in strikes. It also simulates real fight scenarios, allowing fighters to work on combinations and counters. Uh, controlled sparring sessions with training partners or fellow fighters are also essential for practical application of hand striking skills. Sparring helps uh, fighters develop their ability to read their opponents, gauge distance and adapt their striking game plan. Heavy back uh, training is also crucial for building power and endurance in strikes. Fighters use heavy bags to practice various combinations, kicks and clinch work. And this uh, training helps strengthen the muscles involved in striking and improves overall cardio condition. Shadow boxing is a solo training technique that allows fighters to visualize their movements, work on fluidity and refine their striking form. It's an excellent way to practice footwork, head movement and combinations without external equipment. Strong hand strikes require strength and endurance. Fighters incorporate strength and conditioning exercises into their training uh, regimen to build the necessary upper body strength and improve overall fitness. This includes weightlifting, resistant, uh, resistance training and cardiovascular condition. Mental preparation is just as important as physical training. Fighters work on their mental toughness, focus and game plans. Visualization techniques help them mentally rehearse their striking strategies. Striking defense. Alongside offensive training, fighters must also develop their defensive skills. This includes techniques like slipping, blocking, pairing and evading punches. Effective defensive skills are essential for minimizing damage and counter-attacking. Understanding when to strike, when to clinch and when to go for takedowns is crucial. Developing fight intelligence uh, fight IQ helps fighters make split-second decisions during a match, optimizing their striking opportunities. Uh, there are different exercises for this. And next, MMA fighters learn to seamlessly transition between striking and other aspects of the sport such as wrestling and grappling. Uh, they work on closing the distance, maintaining balance and avoiding takedowns while striking. Some compound exercises with a dumbbells or a, a, a barbells are very crucial for a boxing for striking with hands. They incorporate compound exercises that work on multiple muscle uh, groups simultaneously. Examples include squats, deadlifts, uh, bench presses, and pull ups. These exercises help build overall strength. Resistant bands help uh, to develop speed and power in your punches. You also should implement a periodization plan to vary your strength training routine. This prevents a plateaus and ensures you are con continuously progressing in your strength development. Hicks play a crucial role in MMA as they provide fighters with a diverse range of striking techniques and can be used to both attack and defend. MMA fighters draw on various martial arts disciplines such as Muay Thai, Kickboxing, Taekwondo and Karate to incorporate kicks into their fighting style. Um, for example, roundhouse kick, this is one of the most common and versatile kicks in MMA. It involves uh, pivoting on the supporting leg and swinging the kicking leg horizontally to strike the opponent's body, head or legs. Variations include low roundhouse kicks to the legs, a low kick, a midsection kicks and a high roundhouse kick uh, to the head. Fighters often uh, use roundhouse kicks to target an opponent's uh, lead leg or to set up other strikes.
Improving your kicking technique and power requires a combination of flexibility, strength, balance and proper form. Uh, there are some exercises that can help uh, to develop stronger and more effective kicks. Static stretches, for example. Stretching exercises are essential uh, for improving your kicking flexibility. Uh, next is uh, dynamic stretches. Dynamic stretches help warm up the muscles and improve uh, their uh, flexibility in motion. You also can use different jumps uh, with heavy medicine balls or you can use resistant band exercises for example. Also squats and lunges with heavy weights. Also it, it builds uh, immense power in your kicks. So squats build strength in the legs, core and glutes uh, which is essential for powerful kicks. Also lunges work with uh, quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes while also improving balance. Plyometric exercises like box jumps and squat jumps can help develop explosive power in your legs which is beneficial for fast and powerful kicks. Uh, also uh, kicking drills. Practicing your kicks regularly with a focus on technique and speed will help improve your kicking ability. Use a heavy bag, target pads or practice with a partner to refine your kicks. Takedowns are a fundamental aspect of mixed martial arts. They enable fighters to bring their opponents to the ground gain dominant positions and control the fight. MMA incorporates a variety of takedowns uh, from different martial art disciplines including wrestling, judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu and sam. For example, a double leg takedown. It uh, involves shooting uh, on your opponent and driving through their legs to lift and take them down. It's one of the most effective and commonly used takedowns in MMA because it provides control and reduces the risk of being countered. Single leg takedown. Uh, the fighter targets one of their opponent's legs and lifts or sweeps it to take them down. This takedown is versatile and allows for various setups and finishes. High scrotch uh, takedown. Uh, similar to the single leg takedown, the high crotch involves grabbing your opponent's leg and driving upward, often with your head uh, on the outside. It's effective for lifting your opponent off the ground and controlling their upper body during the takedown. Once a takedown is successful, uh, maintaining control and transitioning to dominant positions on the ground like side control, mount or, or the back is essential for ground and pound or submissions. Uh, fighters use a combination of feints, strikes and clinch work to set up takedowns. Uh, this keeps opponent guessing and makes uh, takedowns more effective. If you have access to a heavy bag, you can practice takedown setups by striking the bag and then simulating a takedown attempts. Work on combinations that end with a shot or takedown. You can use a resistance bands to simulate takedown resistance. Attach the bands to a starting anchor point and practice your shot movements uh, while pulling against the resistance. This helps build strength and explosiveness for takedowns. Strength and conditioning. Incorporate strength and condition exercises such Two as this waiting. resistant band for core, for abs, uh, is uh, to improve uh, your overall fitness and strength. Exercises can be like uh, squats, lunges, deadlifts, and plyometrics. And they can enhance your ability to execute po powerful takedowns. Or you can uh, just uh, take uh, on your shoulders your opponents and uh, run with them. Strength is a crucial component of MMA training. It not only enhances your ability to execute 
powerful strikes and takedowns, but also contributes to injury prevention, overall performance and endurance. Incorporate compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, bench presses and overhead presses into your strength training routine. These movements engage multiple muscle groups and build overall strength. Olympic lifts such as the clean and jerk and snatch are excellent for developing explosive power, which is beneficial for takedowns and striking. Uh, functional movement. If you focus on functional movements that mimic the actions used in MMA, like rotational exercises, medicine ball twists, pulling, uh, pull-ups and pushing push-ups. Uh, also, you can use isometric holds, include isometric exercises like planks and wall seats to strengthen your core and stabilizer muscles. A strong core is vital for balance and preventing injury. Apply metric exercises including box jumps, squat jumps and medicine ball throws can enhance explosive strength and agility. Resistant bands are versatile tools that can be used to add a resistance to various exercises such as punches, kicks and takedowns. Uh, kettlebell uh, exercises like kettlebell swings and Turkish get-ups improve strength, endurance and uh, mobility. Circuit training. Uh, incorporate also circuit training sessions that combine strength exercises with high intensity cardiovascular exercises. This mimics the intensity of uh, MMA fight. Also develop grip strength by incorporating exercises like wrist curls and farmer carries. A strong grip is essential for controlling your opponent. Another one is include balance and stability exercises such as a single leg exercise and, and bosu ball exercises to improve your balance and prevent injuries during grappling exchanges. Functional strength. Focus on functional strength that translates directly to MMA movements. Uh, this may involve mimicking specific techniques like wrestling shots or clinch work uh, with a resistance. A periodization. Uh, use also a periodization plan that varies the intensity and volume of your strength training over time. This prevents plateaus and reduces the risk of overtraining. Uh, also allow sufficient time for rest and recovery between strength training sessions. Uh, muscle uh, needs uh, time to repair and grow stronger. Uh, nutrition. Uh, maintain a balanced diet that supports muscle growth and recovery. Ensure you are consuming enough protein, carbohydrates and healthy fats. Hydration. Always stay hydrated before, during and after training sessions. To maintain uh, performance and add, aid a recovery. Sleep. Quality sleep is essential for muscle recovery and overall performance. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. And now you see Junk Whaley is doing fascia training. It is a specialized approach to fitness and exercise that focuses on targeting the fascia. A complex network of connective tissue that surrounds muscles, organs and other structures throughout uh, the body. Uh, this training method uh, has gained popularity in recent years for its potential to improve uh, flexibility, uh, mobility and overall athletic performance. Fascia is a three-dimensional web of collagen and elastin fibers that runs throughout the body, providing structural support and helping to transmit forces generated by muscles. It uh, plays a crucial role in maintaining the body's shape and function, and it can become tight or restricted due to factors such as uh, injury, overuse or prolonged periods of inactivity. Fascia uh, training often involves specific stretching exercises designed to target and release tension within uh, the fascia. The stretches can be dynamic or static and are intended to improve flexibility and range of motion. 
um, my facial release techniques such as foam rolling or using specialized tools like massage balls are commonly used in fascia training. Uh, also uh, fascia training often incorporates functional movement patterns that mimic real-life activities. By engaging the fascia in dynamic, multi-planar movements individuals can enhance their uh, proprio uh, proprioception, awareness of body positioning and improve overall function uh, fitness. Uh, balance and stability. If you're working with the fascial system, it can help improve balance and stability. Exercises that challenge stability, such as balancing on one leg or using unstable surfaces, engage the fascia to support and coordinate our movements. Fascia training uh, can be beneficial for both injury prevention and rehabilitation. By maintaining a healthy fascia, individuals may reduce the risk of injuries and recover more efficiently from existing injuries. Athletes often turn to fascia training to enhance their performance. By optimizing uh, fascial health, athletes may experience increased power, speed and agility, as well as reduced fatigue uh, during training and competition. And Janguili is just noodles for uh, her nutrition. If this video was useful, please share, like and comment.